we all live our passion so and we stand up for what we believe in and we put our tools of kind of creativity into the world i think just being around people who spend their life you know working on their craft there's a, there's just really good energy and, and so there's inspiration that comes out of that i would say everybody's just really passionate about what they're pursuing you know and really trying to create something new push the boundaries of what they're doing or what what their expertise is in you know and and using that to help educate people and inspire other people to do the same Okay, we're up here in the Northern California region where traditionally it's the home of the Pomo, Native Americans. And we're here with the Vista crew trying to shape some boards and get some waves. <laughs> For me, the ethics of it is I've put in the time to learn how to hand shape and you know, some guys haven't, but the customer, some people care, some people don't. But I think if you're gonna spend 1400 bucks or 1200 bucks on a board, you should know where it's coming from, you know? For me, it's the, like the details of the actual process of shaping, you know, figuring out the planer, like just the little subtle cuts and stuff like that and being more efficient with your time and not speeding things up, but just being like crisper and cleaner and, you know, still efficient. That's where I have fun. Cause you're essentially walking around in a dark room for hours on end in circles, right? And you can go crazy if you don't think about it. But for me, it's fun to just kind of trip out on the little details like that. And working with Alex is great cause he's one of the best laminators in the world, if not the best. So to take a shape blank that you work super hard on and give it to him, you know, he's going to take care of it and he's super into it. Like, He'll walk through the shop every day he gets there, goes through, picks out mistakes, or you know, just, hey, this needs to be fixed, that needs to be fixed, because he cares about it. Our crew is as good as it gets. I'm confident in that, you know? We're super picky, and it's gotta be good, because like, they're not cheap, you know? And so we want them to be as best as they can. Focus on the quality of them, versus trying to make tons of them. I just wanted to get a job in a surfboard factory and just the way things unfolded, I ended up being a laminator and could easily been like a sander or a shaper, who knows, you know, but um, I liked all aspects of glassing. It's like Tai Chi, but very toxic. <laughs> it can be, you know? I wouldn't really call it myself like an artist or something, I just, you know, um, but I do try, I guess the art is in the passion to make, you know, to do like the best possible job that you can. The things that these guys are doing up here is really scientific. You know, it's it's a science the way they create, you know, and the way they execute, you know, their lifestyle, the way they live. It's so methodical and it's so calculated and they're so good at it that they can just make it seem like it's it's instinct. I think just being around people who spend their life, you know, working on their craft, there's a, there's just really good energy and, and so there's inspiration that comes out of that. Usually a surf trip, you're just hunting for surf and just focused on that, but everybody here is from such a different background. They're bringing something different to the table. So the search for surf is almost the funnest part because you're just having interesting conversations and learning new perspectives.
I, I build boards in San Francisco in the city and so it's rare for me to get to shape outdoors. Um, I've done it a bit and it's, it's, it definitely feels, it feels right. It feels like that's what I should be doing more <laughs> rather than a dark room. Um, yeah, it is. It's, it's nice to just be able to let the, let the sawdust fly out there and it's not really going to be an issue. You know, it's just redwood, which is basically like the trees that are all around it. So that part's pretty nice to just see the circle that, that the, the board has taken, you know, and to be shaping a redwood board amongst redwoods and cypress trees that are all around us, you know, that part's pretty magical. I saw him shaping and I looked at his boards differently. Because I was like, oh, like it's not really, it is shaping, but it's so different because he's really like, I mean, he's, yeah, he's shaping wood is like a totally different thing than shaping foam and just kind of watching him do that was really cool. I would say everybody's just really passionate about what they're pursuing, you know, and really trying to create something new, push the boundaries of what they're doing or what, what their expertise is in, you know, and, and using that to help educate people and inspire other people to do the same. I think that's been the, the common denominator.